Welcome back guys to part number two of Pokemon Storm Silver Nuzlocke Run and I'm your host Psycho Enigma. In the previous part we got our starter Pokemon, we received our Eevee and we got here to Mr. Pokemon's house. Uh, let's just take a little quick gander at the guys all up in here. We got a level 8 Wade and a level 5 Kurt. Uh, I think pretty much this, this part is just going to be literally leveling up Kurt a little bit uh, before the rival battle. So let's... Let's just roll straight into this sort of thing with a level 4 Hoot Hoot. And what do we have here? We've got Tackle, Tail Whip, Helping Hand, Sand Attack. Nothing really fantastic, but let's just... I don't know, let's just, just level up Kurt a few times just to just to see what, what, what sort of strength he, he's at. And, you know, like I, I, I have a sneaking suspicion that this series... Holy Jesus Christ, Kurt, do not do that to me! I cannot be going through this again like in the second episode because I love you and I don't want you to die. So you will now be alive again. Okay, that scared me, Kurt. How you feeling after that? How, how you feeling, buddy? How, how you feeling? How you feeling? You, you okay? You okay? Kurt was surprised by the sounds in the thicket. You should be surprised by the fact you're actually still alive. That Weedle just like all up in your face just smacked you around like a rag doll. Like, oh, now you're poisoned. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. No, you will not be taken away from me like that. Uh, uh, wait, no, in fourth gen, the poison fades away. So is that... Are you still battling just a wild? Yeah, you are. Uh, nope, I don't want that. I want, I want, I want, what do I want? I want uh, 7 HP. You know what? No, I'm not going to take the cheaters way out. I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. Let's keep healing him with potions. You might think it's a waste of potions, but, uh, oh, glitchy sprites. That's, that's great. Goes back to, and now I've paused my emulator. Goes to show how panicky I am about Kurt dying. Uh, let's just fix that real quick. There we go. Yeah, the, these ROMs are a bit buggy. Um, where are we? 16, okay, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Now nah, we're fine. There we go. So we made it back, uh, and let's just quickly heal up Kurt, uh, and just get like a level or two on him. Just a level 7 really, same level as Mr. Mr. Wade. Uh, because the rival battle, I don't know what to expect from this rival battle, to be totally honest. Sure, it's the first one in the game. Uh, and so, let's go. Surskit, level 6 wild Surskit. That, that's crazy talk right up in here. Let's just get Kurt to decimate this little thing. You can enjoy some on-screen grinding for once, because usually it would be all off-screen, because, you know, I'm crazy like that. And I'd do it all before recording, or like on another day or something, when I've got some spare time. But, you know... Bit of fan service to you all right here. Uh, let's just take down some Caterpies and let's go Weedle. Right, Kurt. Kurt has had enough of these Weedles. He's intimidated by these little guys, these evil little Weedles. Team Caterpie, bitch. Just as I like tackle the hell out of this Weedle because it doesn't deserve to live. And that is how we roll. Okay, so with that being done, like literally two minutes of grinding, uh, let's go back into the Pokemon Center, re-heal our Pokemon, uh, grab another potion or two, and let's try and head back to Mr. Pokemon's place, because in this part, I aim to be catching me some Pokemans, which is what everyone came to see. If you think about it, we could, ha we could aim to have a full team by sort of Cherry Grove again, um, and we'll try and get to Violet City within the next, you know, part or two. So... Uh, why am I going over here? I wanted the the Pokemon. That derp. I think it's more to do with the fact that I'm I like fifth gen games and you know combining the Pokemon with um, the 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 thing the the Pokemon Center. That one I think I've bought everything while I'm in the Pokemon Center and then it's like oh wait derp no need to go back because I'm such a colossal failure. Uh, let's put Wade Wade first because Wade Wade. Wade's the way forward. I was I was going to give away his surname, and that would totally give away my, my nickname theme. But here we go. One of the most epic rival musics. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Here we go. Versus Nameless Man, who, of course, was like... Question mark, question mark, question mark in the original games. Here he is, Passer Blind Boy. 
And a Teledile, it is level 5, so Dreano didn't decide to troll us with like a ridiculously overleveled like rival battle. So this is good. I'm if if anyone's overleveled for this, it's certainly me with with my level uh, with my level 8 Cyndaquil, but that's fine, that's totally fine. Uh, this should be like really easy. <laughs> Uh, so one more tackle, and this should be a good game, Mr. Passerby Boy. And uh, one more tackle, we'll actually get that landing. And this is good. Goodbye, Mr. Totodile. No one likes you. You smell. And Wade, grind to level 9. That ton of XP. Like, that's 70. You're forgetting the low levels. How much 70 XP really is. Harumph. Are you happy you won? Yes, yes, I am. Funnily enough, I'm very actually quite happy that I won. I'm gonna be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Derp, 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 derp. And this bit was annoying. Give it back, that's my trainer card. Oh no, you saw my name. It's like, that that bit, why why add that bit, really? It's like, I like the original bit where he just humped off and you're like, yeah, I'm a better trainer than you, suck it, bitch. Um, so let's just go back to uh, Professor Elm because he... There's apparently a big dilemma at the lab and he needs us to, to fix it for him because, you know, why when you're an adult, why not just get the small child to fix it? That's that's pokey logic. That That's definite pokey logic right there. Uh, New Buck Town, and here we go. So this is just like finish up the intro to the game where it's like, who are you? We're investigating the case of the missing Pokemon here. And to be fair, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I don't know if I touched on this in the first part, but... I would sometimes literally pick Totodile purely so my rival was stuck with, like, Chikorita. And he had to have a Meganium, because Meganium sucks. You know, I, I dislike Meganium a lot. So we can now name our rival. Um, do you know what? I hadn't even thought of a rival name. Uh, so. Uh, rival name, rival name, rival name, rival name. This is this is something I I had completely forgotten that I would actually have to do. Uh, so I'm gonna pause so you're not stuck on this awkward screen with me just clicking keys. So I'll be back with a name. Okay, so I've totally got a, a name for my rival, and it's actually going along with the theme of everything. So our rival is gonna be called Max. Might not sound like such an impressive name, but trust me, there is reason to that. So we have Max, who is officially our rival. So Max was his name. Yes. Yes, it is. Is anyone, you know, more clues as we go along, starting to understand my, my theme of my names here? I've, I mean, I'm this the second recording, and admittedly, you know, there's not been many comments on the first one, so no one's been able to guess, uh, or no one's guessed the name yet. No one has literally even had a, a stab at it, so let's give the mystery egg to Professor Elm, and I would just like you basically to say... Have some Pokeballs. That that would be great. If if you could do that, that that would be wonderful. If you could just not insult me by saying that you know being a champion would be difficult. So uh, we will just get on up out of here, and we will run off thinking, yeah, we're totally getting away. And we have to put up with Lyra. And of course, this is the introduction to catching Pokemon. Anyone who's played the game knows what they're doing. So let's just really speed through this with me giving the introduction. We can a Pokemon. Uh, that's it, like, we can a Pokemon, oh, he actually cut it out, fantastic, so we don't have to endure it, pretty much, we can the Pokemon, throw Pokeball, become successful, basically, Route 29, here's our first encounter for the Nuzlocke, and it is a Hoot Hoot, it's level 3, so, let's do this, uh, right, so, a tackle, let's see how much a tackle does, hopefully it won't kill it, because killing it is the last thing I want to do, brilliant, that's absolutely fine, so, okay, so we'll just throw our Pokeball. How many do we get? We get 15 Pokeballs. That is really nice. Thank you, Drayano, for those 15 Pokeballs. And a one, two, three. And we've caught that. So, Hoot Hoot is now part of the team. And, of course, it's going to get added to the Pokedex. And we need a, uh, a name for this Pokemon. And I actually have the perfect one in mind. This Pokemon shall be called... Warren. Remember, every Pokemon is going along with this theme, so you need to you need to be guessing that. You need to be guessing that 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 team, that theme. Uh, Warren. Let's take a quick look at my view. It's a quiet nature that increases special attack, lowers speed with the move set of Pack Tackle, Foresight, and Growth. That's really really not too bad. Uh, I will level it because. 
you need to in the Nuzlocke. You need to keep those Pokemon. You need to make sure you've got Pokemon on you at all times that can be used. Because uh, believe me, I've made that mistake before where you will just fail miserably. So let's continue on and do a little bit of switch training with our good new friend Warren over here. Let's go into Kurt just to, to get some levels. And for these first few videos, you will see me battling wild Pokemon purely because I need the experience. Uh, I was just actually holding B while running. How uh, how amusing is that for you? Come on, Warren. Don't, don't, don't fail me. Don't fail me. You can survive one more attack. Good boy, Warren. You brute. You absolute monster. Oh, he's got a sad face. He's like, oh, I'm all dizzy. So, yeah, let's just switch train with him, uh, with him now. That might have been a bit silly um, to do there. Why I've gone around, why I'm holding B is another thing because my running shoes are selected at all times. Uh, what have we got? We've got a level 3 Radata. Let's go into Kurt. I'm trying to remember what level Wade learns um, Ember, if it's 11 or if it's 12. So let's go up here and we are now at, I believe this is Route 46. Route 46. Okay, so we can get another Pokemon here. Uh, let's do that. So let's go into Wade. And let's see what is plausible to catch around here. Uh, there is a man in the grass for now. You should try a different route sometimes. You never know what Pokemon you're going to get. Thank you for the uh, for the word of advice. First Pokemon on Route 46 is a Geodude. That's really not too bad because the first gym is, of course, a flying gym. So Geodude naturally is a really nice Pokemon to get. So, of course, he's not going to be taking much damage from our tackles. So we just need to weaken him a little bit. Uh, that's that should be good enough. Uh, Pokeball go. Let's hope that we can catch this thing straight away. It is female, so one, two, three, and we caught this Geo dude. Yes. So that is Pokemon number four that we now have during the Nuzlocke challenge, and we need to think of a name for this Geo dude. It uses its arms and steadily climbs steep mountain paths. It swings its fist around if angered. I can just imagine this Geodude just floating along, just windmilling like, Come at me, bro. So a nickname for this Geodude. I'm going to pause and find an appropriate name. Be right back. Okay, so the name for this Geodude I actually have is Betsy. So let's go with that. Betsy. Okay. Lovely. And we'll just flick the screens back. So... We have uh, Warren and Betsy over here. So what's Betsy? Hasty nature. That's bad for a Geodude because it lowers defenses. Um, it's got rock head ability and it has the moves tackle, defense co and mud sport. Again, nothing nothing too terrible. Um, let's just really move on out of here. We don't want to battle you Geodude because you will take forever to kill. Uh, and we need to head on up to Route 30. Uh, 30? Uh, 30. God, if I could actually speak properly, because uh, that's where we will be catching our next Pokemon, uh, and hopefully leveling up the current ones that we actually have, because, you know, levels on Pokemon are a good thing. Uh, they prevent them from dying, and dying is not what we want, because dying in a Nuzlocke is like the main objective to avoid. We don't want no, no Pokemon deaths. Well, if I could actually do a Nuzlocke, especially of a hack, with no deaths, uh, that'd be great. Oh dear, that that's trippy. That, that's, that's going to hurt my brain. Ooh, those sprites. Uh, um, yeah. Sorry, guys. Like I said, these, these ROMs are a little bit buggy. Um, so let's just come back anytime. I certainly will. So hopefully leave it. Yes, right. Leaving has fixed that. So Cherry Grove City, guess what we can do? That's right. We can catch a Pokemon because... That's how we roll uh, key items, and let's throw in the old rod, and let's do this, come on, give me a Pokemon, here we go, here we go, landed a Pokemon for Cherry Grove, what is it? It's, uh, it's a Magikarp, not that I actually surprised anyone, I know that we can obviously get things that aren't Magikarp, and clearly we can get things that, well, are. So, Magikarp knows Reversal. Well, that did absolutely nothing. Uh, so, let's just try and catch this thing. Uh, it can always be used as backup later to be like an epic Gyarados of death. Uh, but for right now, it's it's pitiful magic, uh, Magikarp of pitiful, really. Um, okay, okay. So, you 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 want to be playing that game, do you? Let's just... How about we just catch Magikarp? That, that, that's great. Um, 
Thank you for doing that. So we need a name for Magikarp, who is of course a really, really quite pathetic Pokemon. Um, hmm, Scott. Scott. Yes, Scott. Uh, yes, here we go. And lovely. So that's Scott the Magikarp. Remember? Themed. Themed. Be guessing the theme. Guessing the theme. Eyes on the theme, guys. Come on. I need you to be doing this for me. So we're going to deposit Scott the Magikarp. Because no one really wants him. I mean, he's level 8, which is, you know, okay. But it's not like... Oh, he's got a jolly nature. So special attack is decreased for the increase of speed. And it does no bubble. I suppose it could be worse. Um... Either way, I'd just rather get rid of him now. So let's just put him in box one uh, and move on with the Pokemon that we have. Because the Pokemon that we actually have are, you know, a lot nicer. I've just realised that's our second jolly natured Pokemon of the of the run so far. So you know what I'm also going to do for the for like the next few minutes of this episode until the end. Let's flick on the GB sounds. Listen to that. Listen to that. That's old school. That is old school right now. Uh, Route 30. Right, so we're at another new Pokemon, and it's a Spinarak. I was kind of really hoping for a C-Dot. Really, really hoping for a C-Dot. But I'll, I'll take Spinarak. It can be annoying. It can it can do poison sting. It can sting stuff, and yeah. And it will just literally break out the Pokemon. Is that straight away that's breaking out? I can't tell because I'm super speeding. Okay. So, one, two... Three. Okay, Spinarak, why why do you do this, man? Thank you. That that felt like it was much much more difficult than need be. It spins a web uh, using fine but durable thread, which waits patiently for prey to be trapped. Okay, nickname for the Spinarak. Of course, we're gonna nickname this Spinarak, and I'm gonna find a uh, an appropriate name for it. Okay, so then for this, Spinarak is Sean, because, you know, apparently these names aren't quite as epic as I was as I was thinking they would be. I'm saving the good names for the good guys, so actually that's another thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to the Poke Center. Okay, so I'm all healed up and I'm all ready to go, and thankfully, uh, you know, Wade just literally survived that by the skin of his teeth. Uh, so let's do some switch training with some Warren and Betsy. Um, Sean, I'm not going to lie to you, you're, you're pretty much dead, death father, dude. Um, as much as I would like to thank you as, as a valued member of this team, you, you probably won't be. Sorry. Uh, let's just quickly just do some epic grinding. Uh, Peck, actually, that's super effective on these little things, so let's do that. I should probably have bought some antidotes, because let's face it, they aren't going to be necessary with like all these little poison stinging little bastards floating around. And um, Peck, come on, Warren, take it down. Good man, up to level five. Want to learn hypnosis? Why? Why the hell not? Let's get rid of foresight because foresight is a move no one ever uses. Uh, if I can just get like level six or something along those lines, um, Peck's going to be the best move against these guys. Uh, oh, I don't know if I'm going to outspeed. That's risky. Uh, back to HP. Yep. Okay, and let's. Let's just move on real quickly with a peck. Uh, okay, so we'll do that. And a Cricketar, again, another Pokemon that we can just pretty much take out with peck. Uh, it knows Bide, though, or I'm not too sure what level it will learn Bide. And Bide is a scary move that we do not want to be dying to. Um, it's just a shame our, our Geodude doesn't know any kind of um, Rock-type moves, because he could benefit from taking out these bug Pokemon pretty quickly. Um, so Betsy back up to the front now and we can we can swiftly move on is what we can do and we've got our first trainer battle going on over here so let's do that. I just lost so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait you look weak come on let's battle. And we'll of course have the uh, you know the original music. Youngster Joey here the uh, the legend himself with his top percentage radar, sir. And I think we should be able to wall him out. In fact, let, let's give it a go. Let's just wall out this Rattata, shall we? Okay, maybe we're not so much of a wall as I thought. Uh, we did get Tail Whip twice. So let's go into Wade. 
and Wade should just be able to take him out. That's really nice, and yeah, a good game, Mr. Youngster Joey. And I just did the most stupid thing ever, and of course accepted his phone number. Yep, I think I, may, I just made a mistake there. And yeah, I think they just got rid of the other trainer um, that was there, so they got just got rid of his sprite altogether. So. If that's the way they want to do that, that's the way they want to do that. Let's go into Kurt, actually, because I think Kurt could benefit from some experience. Let's just be... We'll speed up all the trainer battles, just get into um, that that place of placeness. Uh, Sentra is a normal-type Pokemon, and is going to kill Betsy. And by the way, I'm going there. Let's go into Kurt, because Kurt could do with some, could do with some sweet love, because I, I aim to keep Kurt on the team. Uh, Bet... Let's see, uh, Wade. It's just like you know, things go. Things happen so quickly in the early game here. You just need to be switching up your Pokemon. You need to be making sure they're all leveled all the time. Uh, so, and with it being a Nuzlocke, you know, you don't want to take any risks. You don't want to be, you don't want to be stupid at the wrong time. Because being stupid at the wrong time can easily cost you a Pokemon. Believe me, I know that. And thank God, because if that had got a crit, Kurt would currently be dead. And literally, I go on about being stupid at the wrong time and then risking my Pokemon like that. I get the feeling I'm going to need more potions by the time that we are at the end of this route. But no, I just want to heal up Kurt. Because um, Kurt, Kurt, Betsy and Wade are going to be the ones getting most of the training. I'm not a trainer, but if you're looking to the eyes, prepare to battle. Okay. Thank you for that information. Wild Pokemon. Is this Route 31? Or is this Route 30? I want to still say this is Route 30 because I want to be safe, albeit I really want this C dot. But to save cheating, okay, no, it's like binding, so we'll just leer it a couple of times. And it should, yep, so it's already tried to release the energy, so we'll kill it straight away. Rock polish, okay. And here we are. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but let's have a battle. I'll win, maybe. How about no? I know who you are, you are Idol Carly. How the hell did I know that? Typical putting in that kind of reference. Oh, and I'll look a Jigglypuff. Because, you know, that's not a reference at all. I wonder if, you know, you're going to have any other pink fluffy Pokemon. Oh, Kurt, don't you dare be infatuated. You pathetic weakling. <coughs> Apologies for the cough. But you, you should not be so weak as to fall in love with things just like that literally just like oh hello you're pink and fluffy I love you how dare you think it works like that okay so we'll get an encore into tackle that is really nice I'll take that for days Betsy level 9 skitty let's go back into Kurt hopefully Kurt can win this one uh, with the 1-2 tackle victory yeah oh really buggy graphics again I think it's probably due to the super speeding um is probably what that is because normally when you come out of a battle it's just it can be fine uh, it could be my emulator although I'm using Desmume 0.9.9 .9, so it shouldn't be a massive issue uh, we'll have to see and I'll see if like I need a patch or an update or something um, so we've got our main Pokemon up a few levels um, apparently there's still a cut tree down there and our mother's gonna ring us yay Hello, Enigma. I heard from Bruce Arm you're going to be doing this and the other. Money, you save it? No, go away. You waste it all. You stupid woman. You waste all my money on, like, buying, like, random crap. It's like I'll be at the 8th gym and you'll be like, oh, I bought you a super potion. It's like, oh, thank you. So, Route 31, we'll get another Pokemon and this will be a full team of six. We get a... Hell, yes, this is where my duplicate rule comes into effect. Go away, Spinarak. No one likes you. Don't want no secondary Spinarak. I want something better than that. Hells yeah! I will take you! That is a Boizel. That is a level 8 Boizel. That is a fantastic encounter. We'll weaken you. Okay, so let's try and catch you. Oh, I'm actually really happy with that. Like, Boizel and Floatzel are some of my favourite Pokemon. One, two, three. Yes! Come on, Boizel! And I've got the perfect name for Buizel because this is more one of the one of the more epic Pokemon. So of course I've got a nickname for this little sea weasel kind of guy. I remember seeing him for the first time, thinking he looks pretty cool. So you know, here we go. We've got 
Emma the Weasel. And you think, oh, badass name, Emma. Trust me, if, if you know where the nicknames thing is coming from, then you will understand why I think that. So, we could go and catch Pokemon in Dark Cave, but I think I'll save that for the beginning of next episode. Um, I just want to get to Violet City, really. Uh, and I want to be doing that today, rather than, like, tomorrow. And I'm getting really trippy with the way I'm walking. So, Mr. Bug Catcher Man, let's... How many bugs have you got? You have four little bugs. Let's try and take some down with Kurt and get Kurt to level nine. And then we can just speed through the rest with some embers from our wonderful little Wade over here. So, Kurt level nine. Uh, Wade is our top level Pokemon at ten, so he can be ember damage. Good game, Ninkada. Sasket. Who the hell do you think you are? That's right, decimated. Yeah, because that was difficult. Hey, bug catcher Wade was beaten by Wade. Wade the Cyndaquil. Uh, da, da, you find all kind of berries. Do so you all share berries with me? How about no? It's like, I, I take the numbers of cool people. You know, two professors, my mother, and youngster Joey. I don't have time for you, Mr. Wade. So, and we'll just be run along, run along, run along. And, of course, interrupted. By a wild Pokemon. I thought my emulator had froze for a second. And I would have cried. Because this episode has gone really well for catches. Um, and we'll walk through here. And we're going to get interrupted by Lyra and a stupid Meryl. It's like, yeah, I, you, look, my Pokemon is much cooler than yours. Be gone with you. How did you get past me? Because I'm an elite trainer and epic ninja. You know, I am better than you. I reiterate, better than you, stupid woman. Either way, uh, I'm going to be uh, just going to be heal up my Pokemon, and I'm going to call it an end for the episode today. Uh, we can get a Pokemon in Violet City and Dark Cave next time around, so that's actually pretty cool. Uh, I will, of course, heal my Pokemon up first, and I'm going to deposit the Death Fodder. <coughs> And then that will be the end of the episode. So I would like to thank everyone for watching the second instalment of the Storm Silver Nuzlocke. Remember to comment below about what you think the uh, the Pokemon could be. You know, I want you guys to be, to be thinking. I want you guys to, to really have an idea in your minds of, of what that nickname theme I've got going on is. So we have four Pokemon at the moment that I consider, you know, worthy of use. Uh, let's just flick over here. Yep, that's nice. And if we go put uh, Warren in the box right there okay just so you can see that they are going of course just in a box um, so yeah next episode we'll be claiming another two maybe three Pokemon you never know at the rate we're going at we're flying through this Nuzlocke taking the early catch opportunities as they come really really quick so thank you everyone for watching the second installment of the Pokemon Storm Silver Nuzlocke run um, I'm, I aim to make this my, my best Let's Play yet. This is Let's Play number 5 for me. Uh, so I aim to make it the best one ever. So if you could please lend me all the support that you feel is, that I deserve. So, you know, that, that, that guys would be really appreciated. And I hope you'll all join me for part 3 in the near future.